Good evening, guys. Hope everyone's doing well. I'm just waiting for all of you to join before I start teaching. Just bear with me. Just having a drink. <laughs> Take his Saturday, that is just worship God. Let's just thank God for who he is. You know, I always have a little bit of turbulence before I start teaching. And it's amazing how the devil tries to anger, you know, anger me. And again, this is not my voice. But anyway, it's amazing how the devil tries to anger me, like frustrate me, place anger in my heart. And you know, anger is also used as a form of control. But the Bible does say, say that you are allowed to be angry, but you are not allowed to act out, that the anger will allow you to act out in sin. So it's okay for you to have a, be in a state of anger, but do not cause the anger, do not allow the anger to cause you to sin. So we're thanking God that, you know, the devil may try his tricks, use you know tools you know people that are willing tools tools to frustrate what god has called to be so in the mighty name of jesus so i'm just welcoming god into his presence into this house into your rooms on this live post in the mighty name of jesus christ of nazareth that God will guide, he will control our prayer. His presence will be the point, the main point. Not selfish ambition, not hatred, not jealousy. But it will be God's will that will shine through every word that I say, every prayer, every tongue that is professed with your mouth and from your heart. In the mighty name of Jesus, that you speak out Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus. And as we're praying that he's cleansing us, he's cleansing us in the mighty name of Jesus. He's cleansing us. He's cleansing us in the mighty name of Jesus. He's cleansing us in the mighty name of Jesus. He's cleansing us in the mighty name of Jesus. So we rebind, we rebuke the plan of the enemy in our lives. In the mighty name of Jesus for the word, your word says those who bless us are blessed and those who curse us are cursed. In the mighty name of Jesus, may that be the plight for those who bless us. May they become blessed in the mighty name of Jesus and those who curse us. May they become cursed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ and Nazareth. For his wedding touch not my anointed and do my prophets no harm. There's a reason why God tells people not to touch the anointed there's a reason why god tells people not to do his prophet's harm because only shame will come out of it for them only shame so lord god anyone who has touched us both physically and spiritually anyone who has done us harm in the mighty name of jesus may they face the plight for doing so to us in the mighty name of jesus
we're just thanking God. We're just praying together and thanking God for what he has done. We're just thanking God and we're praying that we're asking God to cover up um, the presence, that the presence of, of the Lord covers this house, covers your homes, covers your environments our environments in the mighty name of jesus and no weapon formed against us shall prosper and every tongue that rises up against us in judgment is condemned condemnation me straight to hell that the spirit is already the soul the spirit of the person is already condemned to hell so they are already written off they're already written off that they thought that they could touch what God has called his own. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. So we're just thanking God for protecting us. We're thanking God for being there for us. We're thanking God for allowing certain things to teach us, to, to help us to learn, to, to strengthen you know, in the Bible, there, there is actually a scripture that states, you know, there, there's um, children. There's children of, I believe there was like um, children of Israel. Um, there was a particular generation where God didn't want them to learn how to fight. I didn't know, um, I can't remember the full situation. But what God does is he puts you in situations. So you train your body, you train your spirit, you train your mindset to fight, to fight to fight. You call forth wisdom and you apply it. You apply wisdom in the situation and you, and you give, you measure, you measure. What you give is also measured, right? So everything you give is measured and it is given back to you. So, you know, in certain situations, you have to show mercy and it might be a level of a lamb. Yes, that it is being slain as Jesus. It is stated in the Bible as Jesus was, but not to your death. Because he has called up for us to have life because he had death. He, he took our sins. He chose the grave and he became life. So he has done that act symbolically, physically and spiritually so we don't have to. In the mighty name of Jesus. So the, the, the fight, you know, don't be like, okay, God hasn't, you know, God keeps allowing these things to happen. You have to learn. You have to learn how to fight. You have to learn how to fight, you know, and you know, there's situations where you're like, okay, God said we have to be like a dove. You know, the Bible says you have to be steward like a snake, right? Right? Steward like a snake and, and like a dove, like peaceful. We have to act like a dove, meek, mild. So that's why you put, you know, God throws us into situations where we have to train that dove that he's calling us to be like the Holy Spirit. His presence is there. He's felt the power is there. He doesn't have to do much. Right. So it's not in acting out in, at times. It's not in acting out at times. Sometimes God will put that in you. Right. To, to foresee um, or to to expose a thing, you know, for those who are listening, it might not be for exactly. It may not be exactly for what the situation you're handling. But there's situations where, you know, that we have to be like the Holy Spirit. He's represented like a dove so many times in the Bible, right? So we're put in situations to train ourselves to be meek, to train ourselves to be meek. It's hard, but he will continue. He will continue to train us. He will train us in particular areas to be meek, right? So there's a calmness when craziness is happening around you. There is a peace that passes understanding that is happening around you because of the, the you know, because of the training you have gone through. It keeps happening and you are going through training, right? So don't sit back and tell God, oh, you, you know, you're doing this too much to me. No, don't say that. You have to train yourself to fight, you know, and it's a different type of fight. The enemy doesn't choose the same battle all the time. Every season requires a different style of fight. That is why God throws us into certain things. So learn and build your muscles. Learn and build your muscles. Learn and build your muscles. Learn and build your mind muscles, your strategy muscles. Learn. Learn and build your wisdom. Learn and build your wisdom. Learn and build your faith. Learn and build your strength in God. Use his strength and not your own. Use his strength and not your own. Use his strength and not your own in the mighty name of Jesus. Let's just continue to pray that God, you know, as Jesus was praying, the Lord's prayer, he was saying, Lord, may our test, 
not be too hard <laughs> you know and that and that um yeah that our test that's where my spirit is keeping me that our test will not be too hard that every test lord that you will show mercy that you will show mercy on us as we are running our race you know the holy spirit is moving you're not supposed to stay stagnant in a situation right some situations want to follow you but they can't some situations want to follow you but they can't you know they the way god has done it excuse me the way god has done it is if you want to follow me into a death trap that god has designed to train me i will survive and you will die right so that's how it works it's like um military you've been military are trained to enter into you know we cannot imagine types of military circumstances that they're put into but it is a war zone and if you want to follow the militant the military you know with their mindset if you want to follow them right you want to behave like them you are not it but you want to behave like them and you follow them into a battlefield you will be thrashed without that training without that mindset without that you know the the way there's a, there's an excellence that especially the Nigerian um, air force you know they carry this level of excellence about them right you know there's so much on you know because my father was um in the air force so there's like a there's a honorary even like your who your it's like your um junior cannot be just out of respect stuff like even your junior your junior cannot be above you have a, a higher position than you so they will now retire the junior junior so the older one can now it's like just there's a lot of honor and respect right so god will not you know that you know in that and your test and trials are traps you don't know who your enemies are you do not know who your enemies are and god throws you straight into battlefields for a reason he throws you straight into battlefields for a reason he knows what you can bear but it's not what they can bear they follow you in they get thrashed you're still standing but you are on to the next situation that god has called for you remember the bible states that you know the holy spirit is seen like also water you know that flowing out of your belly will flow rivers of living water so that's the holy spirit that is the holy spirit that is the holy spirit so thank god for certain situations you're going through it makes things lighter for you it makes things lighter for you it helps to shed you know that dead weight that is trying to follow you that dead weight that thought they could enter into your battle that was designed for kingdom of god children right kingdom of god children my children right it's better for you to stay as god's child right that's what keeps me humble right not kingdom of god adults but kingdom of god children right we stay humble it's him that is doing it it is god that is doing it so thank god for situations we know when you're challenged your enemy is there with you he doesn't know what's coming but he's so desperate he's so desperate to do whatever he has in his heart to mess you up to do whatever you know enemies uh, i don't know how they they work you know thank god that we were not in the mighty name of jesus and we do not want to know how they work in the mighty name of jesus but we know that in that situation that you're crying about that it is god that's saying to you you know I need for you know this could just be God not even wanting you to do anything. He just wants you to sit in it. Just to get rid of all this loose this looser uh, this loose weight, this enemies that have been following you. Right? That's how God works. And then the next situation will be bad, worse than the one you have gone through already. Right? and they continue they you know and they eventually figure out that it is not it is not sound for them to follow a child of god for their safety you know without even god doing anything why right? without even god doing anything so let's just thank god for the situations he has put us in let's be thankful let's be thankful you know it's frustrating but we don't you know the the way of god the way god works is very mysterious we do not want to 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 try and understand what he is doing too much it's good that we don't understand the bible does state that you know those who are are truly following his spirit you know do not understand how can they understand his ways how can you understand god's ways he's too big he is too wise 
for us to understand. So don't get yourself tired with overthinking. You know, you're running, you're trying to focus. Where are you going? God is doing the rest. You're praying, you're reading, right? Reading your Bible. You're, you're mixing with who God has called you to mix with at that appointed time. Some might follow, some might you might leave behind, right? But you're moving, you're running your race. You are running your race. So let's thank God in the mighty name of Jesus for the trials he has put us in. Lord, train us for battle. Lord, train our hands for war and train our fingers for battle in the mighty name of Jesus. Train us for battle. Train our mind, train our, train our body, train our spirit, train our soul for battle. Train our souls for battle in the mighty name of Jesus. Train us, Lord. Train us, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. We are thankful that you deemed us fit. We are thankful your word says that you deemed us worthy to partake in the sufferings as you partake in the sufferings before us in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, 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 Jesus. For those who have just come on, I'm just thanking God that He puts us into situations. You know, it might just be a situation that God needs to just get rid of your enemies. But the situation was designed for you. And there's a way enemies want to follow you everywhere. But it's not designed for them. So like I said before, it's like the military. You're not going to follow a, 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 someone in the military to battle when you haven't been trained and you have not earned the uniform. God has not given you the armor and the tools. Right? So you're not going to follow them into battle. Right. And that is what the enemy does. You know, your enemies, they want to follow you into battle, but they don't see it as battle. They're so, you know, flustered with what they want to do to you, what they want to steal from you and so on. That they want to follow you into a battlefield. But what God does is he uses that battlefield to clear them out because it was not trained. It is not sustainable for them. You know, it is not sustainable for them. So we're thanking God. So be thankful when God has put you into a situation. Be thankful. Be thankful when God has put you into a different type of battlefield. Be thankful. Be thankful. Be thankful. In the mighty name of Jesus. Be thankful. Be thankful. Be thankful. Be thankful. Be thankful. Be thankful. Be thankful, be thankful, be thankful. It's very important. Be thankful is what God has given you. Not everything, you know, I'm going to read about, I'm going to read about, um, just bear in mind, just putting down the volume. I'm going to read about, you know, I used to believe that God only can create um, good, right? As, as I'm growing, with, as I'm growing, you're growing with me. As I'm getting deeper with God, you're getting deeper with God with me. And I like to play again. I always say this. I like to play audio, Bible audio throughout the house. And sometimes my spirit just wakes up to hear, you know, a particular scripture playing or my spirit just tingles about a, a particular um, scripture. And, you know, I was just listening and then the scripture was like, okay, the scripture was like, oh, God creates evil. God creates evil. And, you know, God is very smart. God is very smart. He is wise. He is wise. You know, this evil that he creates is for our own good. So, you know, there's something that could be, okay, I think the dynamics, like what I, I spoke about, about Jesus being um, born, you know, to a single mom. She wasn't single. She was married, yes, to, to Moses. But the dynamic just wanted God to show that it doesn't have to be perfect, you know, and, you know, when, people, when children are born out of wedlock at times, 
you know if if it is by god's hand you know there's a level of evil there is a level of evil that you know it hides it hides the child for me that was my case it hid me 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 that evil that god created hid me you know they wouldn't expect too much from you right they won't look at you too much it hides it hides it's by god's hand if it's by god's hand there's a way it looks it hides it hides it hides it hides it hides and now we see a prophet today right i was born out of a christian home right so that is the evil you know it is called evil because it was out of a christian woman's belly right so let us not confuse ourselves it is by god's hand it is by god's hand it was by god's hand but he hid me you know he hid me in a situation he hid me in a situation you know they looked it was it didn't look right it didn't look right it didn't look right but it was hiding it I, looking at my situation now you know that how god has placed me i can relate with so many cultures in nigeria right i can connect i won't say relate i can connect right i am from many tribes you know and even one of my siblings so i literally my family is nigeria and i've got to taste different styles you know of how you know bloodlines behave how bloodlines react how bloodlines cater to how bloodlines you know there's a reason god does a thing and again who my father is right you know there's that was a protective that was a protective tool god also used used right so when when god is creating evil for a christian out of my mother's room right mary was also a christian but it was it didn't look right it looked evil to everybody else when jesus was being carried right jesus um mary is a christian mary is a christian moses is a christian right a jew right but he god hid jesus there everybody was talking somehow you know they did their best but it didn't look right so you know the how things look when it is of god's hand right and in the end in the long term you see the result you see the result you see okay this was god you know and then maybe again my mum will feel okay or my you know my my parents or you know everybody else i don't know who had their opinions will now feel okay we can see that this was god right so situ thank god i'll just say thank god for situations thank god for situations that he puts christians through that he puts christians through those he has called his that have his seal right of approve approval so i'm not saying go out and have have you know mess up i'm not saying go out and mess up control use witchcraft and say it is god right i'm not saying go out and mess up and say it is god oh it must be it's by god's hand there's a way it looks there's a way it looks you know as much as um I was hidden. You know, the devil still had an eye. Still managed to get an eye. Have an eye on me. Even in the the way it looked, the devil still managed to sneak in. Right? The devil still managed to sneak in. So imagine how much more the devil would have snuck in if it looked too perfect. Cuz they would have known, "Ah, this is God." right there's a way you know there's it's too perfect it's too right and then even the evil that was created the way you know the beginning of my life was the evil the evil there's a way it looked it was hidden what god had called me to be it was hidden what god had called me to be it was hidden it was hidden it was hidden right so i will teach about that um later but right now i want us to pray i keep saying we have to pray we have to pray um i'm just looking for all right so 
what we're praying about, our focus for today is um, against sex trafficking. Sex trafficking, right? I'm going to... I'm going to read now from Zechariah chapter 5. Um, I'll wait for you, to, for you guys to get there. I don't know if you have your Bible. I know you're on your phones. If your Bible is on your phones. So I'm reading from Zechariah chapter 5. Okay, so and it states, I'm reading now. So from Zechariah chapter 5. I'm reading for verse 5, chapter, um, sorry, verse 5 to verse 5, I believe. I think this is, I think it's verse 5. Yep, I believe it's verse 5. All right, so it states, um, I looked again and, and there before me was a flying scroll. He asked me, what do you see? I answered, I see a flying scroll, 20 cubits long and 10 cubits wide. And he said to me, this is, this is the curse that is going out over the whole land. For according to what it says on one side, every thief will be banished. And according to what it says on the other, on the other, everyone who swears falsely will be banished. The Lord Almighty declares, I will send it out and it will, and it will enter the house of the thief and the house of everyone who swears falsely by my name. It will remain in that house and destroy it completely both its both its timber uh, timbers and its stones so what are we seeing here the bible is leading you know my spirit again as i'm listening to the bible audio led me here so what are we seeing here thief sex trafficking is a level of thief it is seen as people stealing right that's what the bible is calling calling out here people those who are stealing you know you don't just steal money people are stealing individuals you know people are stealing people are stealing children some are doing it spiritually some are doing it physically but what the bible states in here is the Lord Almighty declares, I will send it out, right? I will send it out, the curse of the scroll, right? The Lord Almighty declares, I will send it out and it will enter the house of the thief. Those who are stealing children, those who are stealing individuals for sex trafficking, trafficking those who are stealing in general, right? And the house of everyone who swears falsely, by my name. So those who are declaring God. Those who are saying God is their God. Jesus is their God. Right? This curse is going to enter and stay in their house. Right? This curse is going to enter and stay in their house. And the Bible states it will remain in that house. And destroy it completely. Right? Both its timbers and its stones and i love that it's stay saying this because there's been a situation where i had to really you know my faith in god <laughs> you know the the works part of the faith had to really be shown and it got to a point of having to pull a situation down and that it makes sense that god put certain things when god puts certain things in our spirit to now, dish, you know, to, to pull a thing down, both physically at times, to pull it down physically, right? The Bible states here in this scripture, both its timbers. So this, this curse will remain in this house, in the thieves' house, and those who are calling, saying God is their God, falsely, right? This curse will remain in, this, in the house, and destroy it completely both its timbers and its 
and its stones till nothing is left. So we are asking God for those who are, you know, involved in spiritual and physical sex trafficking, that, you know, they will repent because this is their fate. Zechariah chapter 5 is their fate. Zechariah chapter 5 is their fate that their home will be completely destroyed and the curse of the Lord will stay in their home until it's completely destroyed. It's completely destroyed. It's completely destroyed. Let's speak in tongues. I need to read a bit more. There's a bit more I want to, to share with you, but let's just read now that God will have mercy and God will remove the veil from those who are sex trafficking in the mighty name of Jesus. That those who are involved in sex trafficking of children and women and even men, young men, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ and Nazareth, that the, those will, they will be found, they will be released in the mighty name of Jesus, that they will be found and released in the mighty name of Jesus, that they will be found and released in the mighty name of Jesus, that they will be found and released in the mighty name of Jesus. Hey, Saturday, for those who have just joined, we're praying about sex trafficking, that God will help those who have been sold in sex trafficking to be found. And those who are being um, destroyed spiritually through sex trafficking, Lord God, that you, you raise a standard, you stand there. They do not see the individual anymore. They see Jesus. They see Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus. They see Jesus. They see the fire of God in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. In this situation, we're calling the fire. We're calling the fire of the God to meet with those who are sex trafficking spiritually in the mighty name of Jesus, that the fire of God meets them. In the mighty name of Jesus, that the fire of God meets them. That they do not see the individual who they're coming to tamper with in the spirit, but they see the fire of God. They receive it. They receive it and they're burnt. They are burnt. They are burnt. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, thank you, Lord, for answering, for answering our prayers. Lord, you said where, where two or three are gathered in your name, so shall it be done. Lord, we know it's already been done. Both physically and spiritually, those who are being sex trafficked, traffic, traffic, um, physically, Lord God, that you find them, that they are able to find their way home, that those who are holding them captive in the mighty name of Jesus releases them. They release them and they find their way home safely in the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus. <speaking in Spanish> In the mighty name of Jesus, that they are found and released. That they are found and released. You know, there is a way that God works. That he, he, he points out a thing. You know, before the curse hits the individuals. He pours, he, he, he exposes, he exposes and sheds light on an issue. You know, before he, he, he destroys completely and before those individuals are cursed to the point of they are destroyed completely. You know, even to the point of their houses, even to the point of their houses, the stones. The Bible states that the curse will remain. The curse will remain in their house. Those who are stealing, those who are calling God's name falsely, just for sure. The Bible is stating this in the mighty name of Jesus Christ and Nazareth. You know, my spirit 
um you know i, I told you guys to watch doc documentaries as i was told as well to watch doc documentaries and you know it really shows you what is going on in the world and um I was watching a particular documentary and this is where my heart led since we were praying you know god led me to this documentary and um there was a you know a couple of girls in iran and the documentary was taking us there's a particular place in iran they were taking us the documentary showed us how you know how battered literally there is nothing left of their home there is nothing left of their home but we're asking god to show mercy we're asking God to show mercy on those individuals, to release, you know, to release those individuals, you know, before the curse of the Lord. This is the Bible. Before the curse of the Lord hits, right? So nothing was there. Their home, you know, I, there was nothing. There was nothing left, just ruins. 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 So that's where God is placing us to pray for Iran. And also Jamaica and the, the islands that surround Jamaica. You know, the neighboring islands um, around Jamaica. You know, those who are involved in sex trafficking there. Those who are involved knowingly. You know, we're also praying for those who are unknowingly involved. In the mighty name of Jesus. That, you know, God has shed this light. But we're praying that God will see mercy. You know, because there's certain curses that people cannot understand that fall on their heads even from it may not be this generation it might be a curse from the father's generation that is making individuals follow a particular pattern so we're praying to break these curses in their lives in the mighty name of jesus that god will see mercy that god will see mercy that god will see mercy in the mighty name of jesus for them let's read this scripture together now so god can now use this scripture to break to break this cycle this vicious cycle in the mighty name of jesus this vicious cycle of sex, sex trafficking in the mighty name of jesus christ and nazareth Let's use this scripture in the mighty name of Jesus, written in Exodus chapter 3, verse 19. I'm re reading now from Exodus chapter 3, verse 19 to 21. It states, But I know that the king of Egypt will let you go, will not let you go unless compelled by the mighty hand. So I will stretch, this is God speaking to Moses. So I will stretch out my hand and strike Egypt with all the wonders that I, I will do. It will after, I will do in it after that he will let you go. And I will, I will hive this people favor in, in the sight of the Egyptians. And when you go, you shall not go empty, right? So these individuals, they will not go empty, even though, you know, their, their homes have been struck, you know, by this um, level of both physically and spiritually sex trafficking. You know, God will, God will stretch out his hand in the mighty name of Jesus in their country. God will see mercy and stretch out his hand that they will know him. They will find a way to know Jesus. They will, you know, they stated that they worship and pray to the sun. But what they would do, that God, that God in their spirit would lead them to worship him. And they will find refuge in Jesus Christ in the mighty name of Jesus. That they will know that prayers are coming from children of God to set them free in the mighty name of Jesus. And it states, I'm, con I'm continuing to read, uh, um, and it states, and I will hive this people favor in the sight of the Egyptians. And when you go, you shall not go empty, but each woman shall ask of her neighbor and any, just bear with me, and any woman who lives in her house for silver and gold jewelries and for clothing, you shall put them on your sons and on your daughters so you shall plunder the egyptians 
So we're asking God to give them, you know, the might to plunder their enemies in the mighty name of Jesus. That their enemies also will see mercy and release them before it's too late. That they will be released before it's too late. In the mighty name of Jesus, that they will release. They will release those who have been sex, sex trafficked both spiritually and spiritually both physically and spiritually in the mighty name of jesus that those who have been sex tra trafficked will be released and they will plunder they will come back with greatness they will come back better than they are it's beautiful because that documentary showed that those children who had been released now became women and they now started fighting in a war they trained themselves to fight they now went back to the places they were being held in the mighty name of Jesus. They went back to the places they had been captured to now fight in the military. So what we're saying now is God goes before them. God goes before them to capture everyone who has been sex trafficked. That God will release every, every um, burden in their heart in the mighty name of Jesus. That the desire of their heart will be made known and will be heard through our praise in the mighty name of Jesus, that their desires, that their desires, that their desires in the mighty name of Jesus to free their families and to have a home again. In the mighty name of Jesus, God will see this as we cry out to him in the mighty name of Jesus. We're asking God to stretch out his hands that he did for those is children of Israelites, those children of Israel in the in the scripture. As he did for those in Egypt, the children of Is Israel in Egypt, that God stretched out his hand, that God stretched out his hand. Lord, do the same for those who have those women who have gone out in the mighty name of Jesus. Save them. Stretch out your hand in the mighty name of Jesus. Deliver them stretch out your hand your hand goes before them in the mighty name of Jesus that they will leave with riches they will leave with jewels they will leave better than they went into that camp with in the mighty name of Jesus those who have been captured that they're fighting for their release in the mighty name of Jesus Lord, stretch out your hand. Lord, stretch out your hand and release. Release them. Release them in the mighty name of Jesus. Let the, 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 those who are keeping them captive, Lord, let them have pour mercy into their hands as you dip into their hearts. As you did with Pharaoh, pour mercy into their hearts. In the mighty name of Jesus, pour mercy into their hearts. Pour mercy into their hearts. Pour mercy into their hearts. In the mighty name of Jesus, to release these women who went through so much. Who went through so much. They, you know, they did not forget them. You know, there's a way God did it. God, God, you know, put a burden in their hearts to go back and, you know, continue to try and fight, to release the rest of their families out of captivity. God did not allow them to rest. God did not allow them to rest. God did not allow them to rest. God put it in their hearts to train themselves for war and battle and to fight and to fight so we're asking god lord stretch out your hand stretch out your hand in the mighty name of jesus that they let them go stretch out your hand stretch out your hand in the mighty name of jesus and any other country lord place it on the individual's hearts 
those who are going through those countries that I've stated, Jamaica and the, the surrounding islands, Lord God, place it on their country's heart to pray, to know how to pray for this situation. In the mighty name of Jesus, to come against sex trafficking. Even in my own country, Nigeria, the Lord, let, let it be placed on our hearts, knowing how to pray, both physically and spiritually. In the mighty name of Jesus, and God, Lord God, you, you cover, you cover, you cover, and the UK, Lord, you you cover, you cover, you cover us, mostly children, 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 children in the mighty name of Jesus, 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 we pray. Amen, 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 amen. All right, so I'm now reading from... Um, I'm still continuing from Zechariah chapter 5 and I'm reading from, um, just bear with me, chapter 5 down. So I believe this goes to chapter, it goes from chapter 5 to chapter 11, right? So I'm reading now and it says, then the angel of the Lord who, just bear with me. Then the angel of the Lord who was speaking to me came forward. And said to me, look upon, look up and see what is expiring. I asked, what is it? He revealed it is a basket. And he added, this is the iniquity of the people throughout the land. Right? Then the cover of the lid was released was raised and there in the basket sat a woman he said this is wickedness and he he pushed her back into the basket and pushed its lid cover down on it then i looked up and there before me were two women and the wind in their wings right then I looked up and there were, and there before me were two women and the wind in their wings. They, they had wings like those of a stork and they lifted up the basket between heaven and earth. Right, it's amazing. I was listening to a prophet and she was talking about a wind coming from um, Jamaica the islands i won't say jamaica she said the islands beside i think it was nt i don't know um the name of the island she was trying to state but she was talking about the islands um beside jamaica right and she was talking about a level of wickedness a wind a wind a wind of wickedness a wind i believe it was a woman anyway a wo a wind a wind and this scripture is just God is just um, pouring light on this, you know, in this scripture. She said there was a wind. There is like a wind and an attack coming from that particular side. That we need to pray and cover them. That God will place it in their hearts in the mighty name of Jesus to pray and to protect their people. In the mighty name of Jesus and in support, we're praying for them. In the mighty name of Jesus. So let me read this again, right? So just catch what I'm saying. So it says this, this, um, just bear with me. And it says, then I looked up and there before me were two women with the wind in their wings, trying to control the atmosphere. Two women trying to control an atmosphere. You know, this is very biblical. A prophet has confirmed this to me. This is what is happening right now, right? you know an atmosphere they're trying to to push a type of way into neighboring countries not just in their own country but the wickedness is being pushed into other countries they're trying to control the atmosphere of other countries you know the wind the wind is pushed it is blown right so it's from that particular area right and then um let me continue to read um, they had wings like those of a stork and they lifted up the basket between heaven and earth 
So these people have a box that has wickedness spiritually between heaven and earth. And they are spreading this type of evil wind. You know, they want, they don't, they don't just want, I don't know where it's coming from. God will continue to, I, it's not that we, I don't know where it's coming from. I'll say, I don't know why God is doing this, but again, you know, it has been exposed and you know, the type of people who do this type of thing has been exposed. So it's from that area. Um, the islands that are near Jamaica is from that particular area. Right. Right. Um, and then let me continue to read. So I'm continuing from chapter 10, verse 10. Sorry. Chapter five, Zechariah, chapter five, verse 10. And it says, where are they taking the basket? I asked. Right. And it says, the angel who was speaking to me, he replied to the country of Babylon. So they're taking this basket right to the country of Babylon. You know, God has revealed to me that America is the sister of Babylon. The sister of Babylon, the daughter of Babylon. Right. So this will be our own, you know, for us now, this will be this will be our particular Babylon. But God will continue to reveal more. Right. So they're taking this basket with this wind of wickedness to America. Right. To build a house for it. When the house is ready, the basket will be sent, will be set there in its place. So what is the basket containing for those who are just joined? The basket is containing wickedness. 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 This is what the basket is containing. And that wind is coming from that Jamaica side, the island beside Jamaica. Right? Not Jamaica in itself. She didn't say Jamaica, but the islands beside Jamaica. Right? Right? It's coming from that side. And, you know, they're waiting for a particular, you know, there's a particular house. The Bible says, when the house is ready, the basket will be set on this house. So they're set in a condition in Babylon, the United States of America. They are setting a condition. They're making a particular type of house ready. You know, the Bible states houses, you know, are groups of spirits, groups of individuals working with spirits. You know, the Bible does state a lot. The rebellious house is not just one type of house, but I know that the Bible likes to, God does like to call um, the water spirit a lot. You know, the, the serpent, a, a rebellious house a lot right so this is what is happening now they are conditioning america they are conditioning america and when america you know the house and everything has been set this basket will now be placed we'll have now have now have a place this wickedness so let's pray for America. Let's pray for America that God sees mercy in the mighty name of Jesus. That God sees mercy for America. And, you know, if there's also a level of tra um, child trafficking, you know, sex trafficking, in the mighty name of Jesus, God will have mercy. That he will place it in their hearts. I love the fact, you know, I watched the documentary and Americans are very firm. They're very firm with how they handle you know, those who commit, um, um, I would say, pedophilia or I forget the term they use in their country. Another documentary I was watching, you know, they're very firm. They put signs just to make sure that individuals that are neighboring, for those who are living beside, just to protect their kids, they literally put signs to let people know, okay, this is the type of person living here. You know, it, it's quite 
uh, you know, sad in terms of, you know, for, for us Christians, we forgive. But they're very, 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 very stern when it comes to children and, um, you know, making people aware of, you know, this is what's here, be careful. Right? So we're praying for America in the mighty name of Jesus. That this basket that is being prepared to be set in America, this wind of wickedness, this wind of wickedness in the mighty name of Jesus will not touch any of God's children, will not touch those who are seeking God, will not touch those, you know, that we are representing as Christians in the mighty name of Jesus. I represent also those who are non-Christians in the mighty name of Jesus, that God will see mercy. That God will see mercy in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, stretch out your hand. Lord, it is your word and we know it has to be done. We know it is your word. We do not know why it has to be done. Lord, I'll continue to seek and I will find in the mighty name of Jesus with your help the answers that we need to know moving forward in the mighty name of Jesus and how to pray to protect ourselves. Because not just in Babylon that, you know, has been stated spiritually, you know, not just, it's not just America, yes, that, you know, that looks like Babylon. There are other countries that do, do resemble, you know, that type of, you know, um, Babylon style of way. But, you know, because the country is bigger, it is more noticeable and it's known. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord God, we are praying for mercy. We know it is your way, it is your will. But there are also Christians there and there are also people we represent there. Lord God, have mercy in the mighty name of Jesus. Help them to repent. Help them to repent that they can find your covering. That death will pass over. That the blood of Jesus will be stained all over their homes. That the death will pass over. That the spirit of wickedness will pass over. That the spirit of wickedness will pass over those homes that are looking for you. Those homes we are praying for. Also in the mighty name of Jesus Christ and Nazareth. Amen. Amen. And my heart now took me to this. Um, what we're also praying for in Nigeria. Is NYSC. That the government sees fit to make NYSC an option. Because our country, Nigeria, doesn't have enough schools. It does not have enough schools to, to, to accommodate, you know, the amount of individuals. You know, some people might have to wait a year, you know, until they've, you know, entered into a school. I know we're moving forward. We have, um, we have um, online learning, um, but still, you know, women are, and men are put into harmful situations, you know, entering into prostitution. You know, finding ways of making different money. You know, it could be even be, it can even be crime. It can even be crime. So we're asking Lord that our government sees mercy, that everyone can work. You know, everyone can only NYC is a situation where you can only work if you have um, have finished university. But university again is not accessible for everybody in Nigeria because we still need we're still building we're still a developing country we're still building so God will see that people do love NYC but God they will make our government will make it an option so for those who want to do NYC can have the choice but it's not a mandate that if you only have an NYC certificate that you can't work you know it's very restrictive for those who are just generally smart or for those who can be trained in particular areas it might not be every type of job but it's particular areas where they can actually make money and raise their children and have a better generation you know for for their children to have a better future 
And in turn, Nigeria has a better generation and the world has a better outcome in the mighty name of Jesus. So the point is for them to take off NYC, that, um, take off NYC from, you know, employment situations that it must not be mandatory. You know, if people are being put into situations, you know, people are pe being put into desperate situations where they cannot just work. You know, some individuals may be able to just work. They finish university, but again, they haven't got, gone through NYC. So, you know, there's so many situations and it's such a blocking and a level of oppression. I mean, it may not look like that to them on our side, on their side, but looking, you know, as a citizen going about, you know, it kind of look, it's kind of looking like that. So God will give those an opportunity, you know, who haven't entered into NYC and haven't got their certificate also, but they also have gone through university. For they, them to be given opportunity to work without just the option, without having the option to go to do NYC in the mighty name of Jesus. With having a choice, not without having an option, but with having a choice, whether they want to. It shouldn't be a situation where it's restrictive because it's pulling people into situations. Situations. Situations that they should not be putting themselves in. In the mighty name of Jesus, let's pray for Nigeria in the mighty name of Jesus. The NYC, in the mighty name of Jesus, that the government will see it as an option, you know, for those who want to do it. But it is not a mandatory situation to work, to, to, to ignite a work, um, some kind of work permit. You know, it's like use as some kind of work permit. But Lord God, we're asking you, as our country is still developing, this is looked upon as some kind of oppressive tool, that God, you will remove it in the mighty name of Jesus and make it optional, but not make it mandatory in the mighty name of Jesus for employers. You know, employers also who are seeking, also who are seeking and trying to move quickly, you know, but the right person maybe didn't get their NYC certificate. They have to wait for the next year. And there's so many hiccups in the flow. In the mighty name of Jesus. And also that they will start investing in building more universities. In the mighty name of Jesus, more schools. In the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, go before, go before us in the mighty name of Jesus, place this on our government's heart, in the mighty name of Jesus to make it an option, not a mandatory, not mandatory, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ and Nazareth. Lord, you said, wherever we ask for in your name, so shall, it, so shall it be done. Lord, we have asked for this in your name. Lord, have mercy. Place mercy on our government's hearts in the mighty name of Jesus that they see it more as an option. So the country can move forward faster and quicker in the mighty name of Jesus. That the minds that are kept behind to move the country forward are not oppressed unknowingly. In the mighty name of Jesus that our country will move Nigeria forward quickly. And those also that we have prayed for that they will move forward. That their systems will be able to pick up certain things. Certain things that are happening in the mighty name of Jesus Christ and Nazareth that they can actually do something about it, both physically and spiritually. In the mighty name of Jesus. <speaking in Hebrew> Did it, 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 did it,
In the mighty name of Jesus, 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 in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus. Now this is the time to get your scriptures. We um, normally use scriptures as prayer points. We turn our prayer points into scriptures now. And, you know, as we're speaking in tongues together, you can use particular scriptures that you're trying to get God to, you know, God's attention to fix a thing, to move forward in your life, to activate a thing in your life in the mighty name of Jesus. So you can step into it because it's already yours. So this is a good time now to bring out your scriptures. You don't have to share it. Just bring out your scriptures. And as we're speaking in tongues now together, it will be activated. You know, you know, corporate prayer is a good way of quickly activating what you're asking God for. And this is something we do in the mighty name of Jesus as we come together in the mighty name of Jesus. So just get together your scripture, what you had already were praying in the mighty name of Jesus and just speak it into life. Let us all speak in tongues now in agreement with the scriptures that everybody is using, that God will hear our cry in the mighty name of Jesus, our petitions as we go boldly before the throne, as we are boldly before the throne. And God has, has, and we got, we have God's ear and hand in the mighty name of Jesus Christ and as of pray for my mouth also there's spiritual attack there Enemy is trying to control what I say. You know, there's power in, in what you say. There's power in speech. There's power in the word of God. And this is where the enemy will like to attack, especially a prophet. So pray for my mouth also in the mighty name of Jesus Christ and Nazareth. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ and Nazareth, we pray. Thank you, Lord, for answering our prayers. I'm going to post. And for those who have just joined, I'm going to post. And you can catch up, you know, and also catch up with the videos. Know what's happening in the world now. Again, pray, know what we're praying about, know what to pray about. So catch up with the, the videos I've posted. If you don't like to use um, Instagram to watch, because I know it's quite data heavy, you can click on the link in my bio and watch via YouTube also. In the mighty name of Jesus, for those who would like to give their tithe on an offering, I have found the scriptures. I've just started collecting <laughs> tithe and offering. I know I kept on putting this off. But the Bible states in Leviticus um, 27 verse 30. Says a tenth of the produce of the land. Where the grain fruit is the Lord's and is holy. And Proverbs 3 9 states. Honor the Lord with your wealth. With the fruit first fruits of all your crops and it states here just bear with me this is what i love um and it states in matthew 6 chapter 6 verse 21 for where your treasure is there your heart will be right so for those who would like to give their tithe and offering follow the link there are two links um styles um 
it is there's a cash app and there is paypal you can give your tithe and offering there and you can also give your tithe and offering you don't have to give it here but you can give your tithe and offering also you can give your offering here but you can give your tithe to um, a motherless you know baby's home or any sort of orphanage or any sort of charity that you know requires kids um, but what I do with the proceeds is again it's towards schooling so that's why it, this um, prayer time is really nice um, you know for children for the growth of our generation and for those you know coming those generations that are coming everything goes towards helping those go to school individuals go to school um, so just feel free to do so um, and for those who would like to join the kingdom of God, you were touched by this prayer time. And, you know, I've convinced you with the power of God. You know, you know, Christianity is not all that bad. You can join us, become a, a member of our family. You know, Bible states that we are adopted into the kingdom of God. We are, you know, you, <laughs> you, are, you are ready to be adopted and enter our, our family. Just repeat this after me. But before you do so. This scripture is found in 2 Kings um, chapter 3. So just repeat this after me. And the king stood by the pillar and made a covenant before the Lord to walk after the Lord and to keep his commandments and his testimonies and his statutes with all his heart and all his soul to perform the words of this covenant that were written in this book the bible and we all say together we can all repeat together and all the people join in the covenant in the mighty name of jesus lord thank you for Lord Jesus, thank you for dying for us and creating a new covenant, covenant, bringing us out of the covenant that Jesus, um, that, um, sorry, bear with me, my mouth, bringing us out of the covenant that um, Adam put us in when, when he fell, when the fall of man took place. Jesus came and pulled us out of sin. He brought life. He brought life again. In the mighty name of Jesus. So thank you Lord for dying for us. And thank you Lord for adopting these new. These your new children. Into our, into our family. In the mighty name of Jesus. Christ and Nazareth we pray. Welcome to the kingdom of God. You know spiritual attack is real. <laughs> you watch any of my other videos. <laughs> you know two years ago this was not happening. So you know God is working. You know attacks are real. Take the devil, the devil serious, but do not take him as serious as God. He's not that important in the mighty name of Jesus Christ and Nazareth. For those who would like to um, receive therapy, I give both um, biblical and spiritual therapy for free. Feel free to message me. And for those who want to bump heads about business, career, feel free to reach out to me. We can hold a Zoom session and move forward from there. Um, so that's it. You know, have a good evening, have a good morning, afternoon, wherever you are in the world. You know, may God be with you. May God guide you and catch up. Watch the rest of the videos. Again, you can also find them on YouTube. Catch up again. I'll post this and you can, um, you know, put everything together, what you have missed. You know, even though you haven't prayed with us live, we're still praying together live in the spirit. So don't feel that you can't not pray um you know with the videos still pray with the videos okay in the mighty name of jesus christ and as if i pray amen i feel good i know god has done something Our prayers have been answered and there's been a release you know i feel a lot lighter i'm sure you guys do too you know hold on to god hold on to god and feel free to dm me feel free to email me and we can put together a zoom meeting you know yeah, I'll leave it there. I don't want to leave you guys today for some reason, <laughs> but I'll leave it there. All right? All right, bye.